In this video, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how you should structure your TikTok videos. When you structure your TikTok videos correctly, you're gonna get more views, more likes, more shares, more comments, more everything on your videos. And this is something you should apply to every video that you have moving forward. So what is the best way to structure your TikTok videos? Well, the structure is actually fairly simple. It goes hook, build up, outcome, call to action. If you have those four elements in that order, you're gonna have a nicely structured TikTok video. However, the execution of these is a little bit harder. So if you have this correct structure with your video, along with the right message, you're gonna be perfectly fine with every single video that you post. But now let's go into a little bit more detail about each of these elements. The first element is a hook. If you have a proper hook, you're gonna be able to reel your audience in within those first few seconds of your video. The first few seconds of every video that you post are gonna be the most critical. One of the hardest things to do on any social media platform is to get people to pay attention to you. Whether you're on TikTok to promote your business, whether you're trying to build a personal brand, whether you're just on there for fun, Grabbing someone's attention and having them pay attention to you is always gonna be one of the hardest things possible. So that is why you need an effective hook in the first few seconds of your video. Without an effective hook, the people are just gonna scroll on. Especially with TikTok because the attention span on TikTok is very small. So you need to do whatever you can to make sure that you grab your audience's attention in those first few seconds. Now there are a couple of different ways that you can actually utilize a hook. You can use it through your words or you can use it through action. You can also do it a third way, which is by using your words and having Action. Depending on the type of niche you have, you may want to go the words route with all of your hooks. And if you go the word route, the most effective hooks out there always include the word you. This is how you do this. Here are three things that you can do. If you do this one thing, it's going to change your life. Those are effective hooks and you saying the word you is really going to help bring in your audience and keep them paying attention throughout the whole video. The reason you say you is because that automatically creates a connection between you and the person watching the video. You're speaking to one direct person and when you're speaking to one direct person, it doesn't feel like you're speaking to a wide audience of people. Yes, you want your videos to reach as many people as possible, but when the person watching the video feels like you're talking directly to them, they're more likely to watch. Now using a hook through action is going to be a little bit different because you're not using words, you're using actions. What you can do, a simple thing, is use camera movement. Doing something as simple as starting the video with a movement. Starting the video close and moving away from you. Starting the video from far away from you and moving the camera in. Having some sort of camera movement is something that will catch the audience's eye, and when that catches their eye, it's gonna help them refocus on the video that they're trying to watch. So if they just happen to be scrolling and they come to your video and they just see something that catches their eye right away, they're more likely to start watching the whole video. Again, having an effective hook in those first three to five seconds of your video is gonna be the most important part of your video. Because if you can't grab somebody's attention right away, they're not gonna watch the rest of your video. It doesn't matter what type of information you're giving, it doesn't matter what tips, tricks, hacks, whatever you're saying in the rest of the video is not going to matter. So start off with an effective hook and you're on the right path. The second part of the TikTok structure that we're going to talk about is the build up. You need to think of the build up as some sort of promise that you're going to be making to your audience for the rest of the video. So if my hook was something along the lines of here are three life hacks that you need right now, an effective build up would be something along the lines of these hacks changed my life. These hacks changed my outlook on life. These hacks change the way I wake up every single day. That tiny buildup is not only hyping up what you said in the hook, but it's also promising that you're gonna be telling them good information that they really need moving forward with the rest of the video. And by doing that, that's also gonna keep them watching your video for a longer time. And with TikTok, the longer you can keep people on your videos, the more that video is gonna get pushed out to even more people. So an effective buildup does just that. It builds up the video. You're giving your audience something else to look forward to so they keep watching the rest of your video. The third part of the TikTok video structure is gonna be the outcome. And what exactly is the outcome? The outcome is delivering on the promise that you made in the buildup. And it's also giving away all the information that you said you would give away with your hook. So if we go back to the example of three life hacks that you need right now, the outcome would be telling you those three life hacks that you actually need. There's no more dilly dallying around the subject. You're giving your audience exactly what you said you would give them. But you need to be careful of this because if you keep delaying the outcome that you promised your audience, they're going to start to scroll past your video. Again, the attention span on TikTok is very short, so you need to make sure that you're getting to the outcome in a time frame where the audience isn't getting bored with your video. So you need to make sure you're constantly keeping their attention all the way up until that outcome. Then when you get to the outcome and you're giving away all the information that you promised you'd give them, everything is going to be much easier. You don't have to try as hard to keep your audience's attention. And that's simply because you're actually giving the information that you said you'd give. The people are finally getting what they started to watch the video for. But if you're not delivering on the promise or you steer in a different direction, in the middle of your video, your audience is gonna scroll past your video, your video isn't gonna start to perform nearly as well, and that video is just gonna end up being dead and nobody's gonna watch it. So make sure when it's time to get to the outcome, you're giving your audience exactly what you said you'd give them. 
Don't give them anything else. Give them exactly what you said you'd give them. The last piece of the TikTok video structure is gonna be your call to action. And a call to action is simply telling your audience what you want them to do next after watching your video. You spent the whole video grabbing their attention, giving them what they wanted, delivering value to them. When you're spending your time doing all of this, hopefully you're giving them a reason to wanna to watch more of your videos. And that's all leading up to the call to action. And the call to action is gonna be something as simple as follow along for more, share this with a friend, leave a comment. Saying things like that are your calls to action. You're telling your audience what you want them to do after watching your video. But if you've done a good job up to this point, if you've delivered enough value to your audience, they're gonna listen to what your call to action is. And one of the most common calls to action is to just say follow along for more, or some version of that. Because that's ultimately what you want them to do. You want them to come back for all of your videos. And I know to some people, having a call to action may seem like you're begging. But in reality, your audience needs to be told what you want them to do next. Not everyone just thinks to follow along after they watch the video that they really liked. So having a call to action is crucial, and you don't always have to tell them to follow you. You can get creative with your calls to action, but you need to make sure that you're telling your audience to do something else after watching your video. Because again, if you have an effective video up to this point, they're gonna listen to that call to action. And a good call to action is just a very nice way to wrap everything up for your video. Throughout the video, you've talked to your audience, you've built up their emotions, you've delivered on your promise, you've given them value. So giving that call to action is just this nice way to wrap everything up and just let them know, hey, if you liked exactly what you saw, be sure to follow along. And that is how you should structure every single one of your TikTok videos. Again, seeing the structure is very easy but putting it into practice is gonna be a little bit more difficult. It's gonna take practice. It's gonna take time to actually perfect the message that you wanna give off to your audience. So to wrap everything up for your TikTok video structure, you need a hook, a buildup, an outcome, and a call to action. Use those four elements and you're gonna always have a successful video. If this was a video that you enjoyed watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave a comment below if you have any questions about this TikTok structure for your videos. Because let's be honest, we all wanna to try to get as many followers as possible when it comes to TikTok. And be sure to follow me on TikTok for more videos just like this, but in a shorter format. And you can find me at Dare to Capture. So, uh, that's all I got for you. I'm Steven from Dare to Capture. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. In my veins, I've been driving this train. Years in this